my name is Ashwin. So today we are going to see the first chapter of AQA Computer Science Syllabus. So the first chapter name is Fundamental of Algorithm. So today we are going to study about the Fundamental of Algorithms. So this is your first chapter. So what is a algorithm? First we need to study. So first algorithm. So what is algorithm? So algorithm is nothing but you are going to solve a given question step by step. That is called as algorithm. So if you want to put it in a definition, so algorithm is a step by step sequence of instruction that are used to solve a particular problem. That is called as algorithm. So algorithm you can write it as step by step step by step solving a given problem given problem so if i ask you so what is a step by step solving so step by step solving is nothing but so consider an example of adding two numbers so if i consider one example adding two numbers so what is the first thing you are going to do so in the question we can see adding two numbers so we require two numbers right we call it as n1 and n2 is the two numbers so next what you are going to do so next you are going to add these two numbers so adding up two numbers that is n1 plus n2 so after adding what is the next step you get the answer right so this is called as step by step step by step solving A given problem okay so this is what an algorithm is so I hope you understood what is an algorithm so next we are going to see the exact way or exact terms that is used in algorithm so what is the first thing? So how will you explain an algorithm? So while explaining an algorithm, you have the first thing you have is input. That is your first point. Second one is processing. So process. Third one is your output. Okay. These are the three main steps in your algorithm. Three main steps in algorithm. Okay. So if I consider one example, just like the previous example. So what is the input in the previous example? Your n1 and n2. What is processing? So processing is nothing but the formula or the logic that you are going to apply to solve the given problem. That is processing. What is output then? So output is after processing, what are the result that you are going to get? That is output. Okay. So if I consider the first one, input so input is nothing but anything that is given by the user that is called as input so any data given by the user is called as input second one is process 
So what is process? So process is nothing but the logic that you use to solve a given problem. A logic that you use to solve a given problem. That is called as process. Third one is output. So what is this output? So output is after processing the answer that you get. Answer for the given problem. That is your output. Okay. So that is called as output. So if I if I want to represent this input, process and output, I have one term. So here you can see I'll draw three boxes. I'll draw three boxes. Sorry my boxes are a bit crooked. So I'll, I'll draw these three boxes. So what is this three boxes? So I'm representing the algorithm in diagrammatical way. So that is what I'm drawing here. So always the algorithm, the first thing you have it in the algorithm is input. Whatever the input given by the user that has to be processed with the help of a formula or a logic that you are going to apply. So that is process. After processing or after calculation, processing is nothing but calculation. So after processing, you get an answer. That answer is your output. So this is how you are going to represent an algorithm in a diagrammatical way. Okay. So I hope you understood what is an algorithm and what is the process of doing an algorithm. Always algorithm algorithm first step is step 1 will be your input step 2 will be the process that is your calculation part step 3 will be your output so this is how you are going to write an algorithm so if i give you an example of algorithm same example like previous i took adding of two numbers so I'll give you a question or write an algorithm write an algorithm to solve sum of two numbers sum of two numbers how will you write the algorithm? So you know how to write an algorithm. You have three steps in your algorithm. The first one is the input. The second one is the process. The third one is the output. So step one will be your input. Step one will be your input. So what is your input? So according to the question, you need two numbers to perform sum of two numbers. So two numbers are, just like before, I'll take n1 or to make it easy, I'll take a and b. So I'll take a and b as two numbers. So a and b is nothing but a and b is two numbers. Okay, so this is my input. So what is the process? So step two, step two is process. What is process? 
process is nothing but your calculation part. That is, calculation is sum is equal to a plus b. So in this step, we are doing the calculation. So you have sum is equal to a plus b. So whatever the two numbers you give, that will be added and stored in sum. So now my step 3. Step 3 is my output. So where is my output? In sum, I have stored the output. So I need to print the output. So I will give sum. So in the output step, the sum will be printed. So this is an algorithm to write or to solve sum of two numbers. So algorithm is nothing but solving a given problem. Here a given problem. Solving a given problem step by step. That is called as an algorithm. I hope you understood what is this algorithm, how it is represented, what are the steps to perform algorithm and how to write the algorithm. So you have seen one best example for writing an algorithm. I hope you understood. If you have any questions about algorithm, example or understanding algorithm, so if you have any doubt, you can leave a comment. So I will answer this in the next video. Okay. I hope you like the video. If you like this video, please hit a like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.